Hey, good weekend, everybody. How are you all doing? Got Lyle the Sash Shaver here coming to you for my weekend shave. Hope everybody's enjoying the weekend. Hope you're getting some nice weather. Hope you're getting some personal time to look after yourselves if that shaves, haircuts, whatever. Got my haircut today. I think my wife did an excellent job. And now it's time for the shave. It's been a late afternoon shave, but uh, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to this one. I really struggled to figure out what to use today. I got a lot of new stuff in. So I'm using a combination of new stuff and existing stuff that I really enjoyed. So today, I'm going to bring out, I haven't used it in a long time, like Grandpa Grooming Products. This is orange. This was their spring release last year. Um, I think it's still available actually, from what I've seen on time, online. This is a premium vegan base, and the scent up is just straight up orange. Um, if you can see here, hopefully, there's the ingredients and everything on the back of how to use it. I'll also try to post them up here like I always do for you guys. It's made by Ken in Edmonton, Alberta, a very nice gentleman. He's a great guy to talk to. I already have that put mashed into my Thirsty Lather, <laughs> Thirsty Lather, Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. <laughs> Sorry guys. Weapon of choice today. I was gonna do a straight razor, but I just fell about half an hour ago when my arm's a little sore, so so is my wrist. So I wanted something that I didn't have to think about as much. Going to do the Carve Christopher Bradley three and a half inch handle C solid bar plate. It's the first plate I ever owned. In that, I have a Gillette Winter Blade. This is on the third shave. Um, I don't know if I've taken winners this far, so we'll see you know, how it performs. If I don't like it, I'll switch it out. And for the brush today, <clears throat> oops, I'm gonna go synthetic. I recently got in, I hope you guys can see that, my PAA Starcraft, it's a 24 millimeter synthetic knot. Beautiful synthetic brush. I love the um, design of the handler thing. It's uh, designed after the, I guess it's kind of a rare, you don't see them too much. Um, Mohawk, a Canadian shave brush brand. It's the 54321, I do believe it's called. I really want to find one of those. I only know one wet shaver that has it and I doubt he'll ever let it go, but I'm gonna try someday to get it. <laughs> and I'm gonna finish this all off today with Mayo Grooming Tangerine. Orange shave all around. <laughs> so let's get this going here for you guys. Get some water back into that brush uh, mug there. And like I said, I hope you're all doing well. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. And like I said, it's a late Sunday afternoon here. I've had a lot of fun. We had a uh, virtual national um, get-together meetup uh, yesterday afternoon for one of the Canadian wet shaving groups. Uh, we used the Zoom. We had about 30 of us on the total at one time. I uh, scheduled it for two hours. All in all, I think I was on there for about four as I was moderating it and running the Zoom meeting. It was a good time. It was great to see everybody coming out there. We had some artisans out, you know, like uh, Linda from uh, Purely Skinful Handmade Essentials. We had Ken from like Grandpa, Randy from First Canadian Shave. Um, who else am I missing? We had Jonathan from uh, Stonefield Shave Co. Jonathan's a vendor up here. He also has some soaps in his own branding. Um, just a great group of guys. Had the CWS founder out there too, talking to us. Just, it was a lot of fun. I may have indulged in a little too much wine during that meeting though. <laughs> <laughs> and you see this comes pretty quick I'm going to have way too much soap in this this is a probably a four <clears throat> maybe four and a half out of five for a citrus scent and that's pretty good you know citruses are especially if they're using essential oils for their uh, scent notes it's tough to get a strong scent note I find and tough to get one that lasts <clears throat> super long time either. My understanding that's just the nature of the beast of uh, essential oils for citrus. All right, it's coming real good. Doesn't take a lot of water to get this going. Um, I'm using more than I need to here because again, I have a large amount pushed in there. When I, after I put it in and looked at it, I was like, oh damn, but oh well. <laughs> So what have you guys all been up to for your weekend? You've been having some good shaves, having some good family time, enjoying everything? I hope so, I really do. 
Um, in this time of social isolation, I mean, spending much time with our family, making the best of it is the best thing we can do, in my opinion. But also, you know, interacting with our fellow friends, family members that aren't living with us, our shavers, buddies, everything. Um, via online video chats, via phone calls, Facebook, MeWe, whatever it is. Um, it's all definitely worth it, in my opinion. Helps keep us sane. Okay. You guys to more than enough here, guys. I'm going to wet the face. I'm going to get this going for you. So it should be interesting. It's been a few hours since I showered. Quite a few hours. Um, I did try to rehydrate my lather or my uh, whiskers a little bit before this. So hopefully it goes well. So the StarCraft brush, I guess it just feels excellent in the hands. It has a good amount of backbone, but it's soft. A very good amount of backbone. <laughs> not too much, but not too little. It's almost perfect in my opinion. I've wanted this brush since I've dug a PA released it. I think it's two years ago now. It's been a while anyways. And then just I haven't had the opportunity to do it. And with some of my birthday money, I decided to add it to one of my orders. I'm very glad I did. My only upset about this whole brush is that I've been uh, dinging up the color on the top a little bit on my lather bowl. It seems to scratch really easily. But the feel in the hand and the feel in the face and how it makes a lather I've been very happy with. In fact, I've used it for, I think it's my fourth shave with it now. And it's just fast becoming my favorite synthetic. Um, I love my Simbad from AP Shave Co. But for the same size and knot, this might take it over. Whoa! <laughs> Big cannonball there. I can't let that one go because it's got a hair in it. I said I just got my hair cut here not too long ago before this video. So. I was very, very, my wife is super, super, super nervous about cutting my hair. I'm pretty anal about my haircuts, but I was very proud of her. She tried until whatever happened, happened. And I think she did awesome. Yeah, I'm going to use that, guys. I don't want to overhydrate this. It's a good vegan soap. It's got good all around performance in my memory. It's been too long since I used it. So let's give that a go. Let's see if I can keep it out of my ears. Definitely got some up in there. Let's clean that out. All right. So this will be about 26, 27 hours of growth. Closer to 26, I think. And this will be with the grain, guys. Again, no real surprise that the carb is extremely smooth. Uh, with the grain, the blade seems fine so far. Mm. 
You will get blood there. <clears throat> Cut myself just in the line with a straight razor. Being kind of an idiot. Brought my wife in for the live to sing a couple of uh, songs. It was really cool. I was really happy she did it. I have to not shave for a couple days so I found one heel. We'll see. It's definitely not my style. But that's a tough place to heal every day when you're shaving over top of it. The scent on this light ground plug said it's pure orange. Um, it is a mild scent. <clears throat> Definitely not going to win any scent strength competitions, um, but that is one way Ken designs his stuff intentionally to be lighter scented. Um, for people in professions that are supposed to be scent free or minimal scents, uh, doctors, nurses, all that kind of stuff. He's got quite a local clientele for that in uh, his hometown area there, so it's my understanding. Uh, but the soap performs well. There's absolutely no issue shaving with it. Just like most artisan products nowadays, you get a good shave with most of them, right? There's very few that I use anymore that I'm like, yeah, that's just crap. And to be honest, if it's in my den and left here, either I'm testing it and it's crap, or it's part of my collection and part of my den and I enjoy it. It's a good product. You know, it's going from a good product to an excellent product, an elite product. If you want to use that terminology, I'm not always a fan of that terminology, but I know it's used a lot um, lately, especially the last couple of years. It seems like for certain manufacturers or artisans. So we'll see. We're going to cross the grain here. The scent on the like grandpa is still orange air. It's still there. Um, it's very light though. Like I said, it's not in your face by any means. You can cover this up with anything you wanted. Um, I don't think you'd have an issue. Any other citrus, any other clone type of a citrus base, I think they'd play just fine together and you would never really notice that you had an orange, an orange scent left on your skin from the soap. Performance wise is good, very good. Pretty, if I remember correctly, I'll click those ingredients here in a second. It's a pretty basic formula compared to lots of the stuff in the market nowadays. But it does a very good job. And to my understanding, Ken only has the one formula. Um, the one base and you just pick what scent you want on it. And I think he's got five or six scents. And then some um, yearly custom releases that he uses for charity, like Wild Rose. It feels good. There's a ton of residual there, actually. More residual than I remembered. I must have dialed this better. I've uh, been dialing this in better than I did last time I used it. I'm going to be honest with you. The soap is actually doing better than I remembered. I was a little bit nervous about, you know, even though I was going to try to straight, I was a little bit nervous about using the straight with this. I didn't remember the slickness being as good as it feels right now, but it would have been an issue. Would not have been an issue at all. So. So yeah, that meetup was pretty cool. The people from, you know, Vancouver Island in that area of Victoria, uh, all the way out to PEI, from one coast to the other coast, basically, and all in between. Yeah, it was really cool to talk to them all, see them all. 
Um, Glad to throw the nuances. Did it go off perfectly? No, but I think it went off pretty well for our first time trying it, right? So, hoping to arrange another one. Um, it's a good way to keep in contact with all your shaven brothers. You can't go to local meetups right now, right? So, I think it was, that was a great idea when it was brought up and I jumped on right away helping organize it. I just want to check, yeah, so again, it was one, two, yeah, it is a fairly basic formula compared to some lots of the stuff out there now, but it, it's doing great. Very, very well. Um, the third shave on the winner is doing excellent. So far, I'm not feeling anything wrong. Um, the carve is it's being very smooth in the carve, the carve, or the carve is making it very smooth, I'm not too sure. Um, the C-plate solid bar is the one I do have the most experience with. You know, I got this years ago, probably three. Three years ago, four years ago, it was the first Christmas that carve opened anyways. My wife got it for me for Christmas, so I'm very used to that plate. Against the green. Feeling just great. Just freaking beautiful. So, I don't know if you guys have seen, I think Chris at I Am uh, CBD started it. Uh, the guys are doing um, blindfold chips. There's a few that I have to catch up on. And Chris wanted to see what it was like to shave basically blind or completely blind, as some of the our online YouTube brothers here do. Um, one of them that was mentioned was my uh, shaving brother, uh, Justin of the Red, Mat uh, Red Highland Shaver. Guy is legally blind. And uh, shaves like a whiz. Definitely helped me out with many tips over the years, especially when I started getting the straight razor shaving. He's put the straight razors down for a little bit because unfortunately his, his vision is deteriorating a bit, but he's working towards that. So we're all hoping that works out for you, Justin. Um, I know it's getting worse and worse for you. You're having those issues. So like I said, I pray for you, man. Excuse me, guys. Pretty cool as what I was getting to is that Chris started that to kind of see what it was like for I think there's three of them that do that are basically legally blind YouTubers. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Very good video. Very impressive. So yeah, that residual is fine. Perfect. Okay. Repass is done. Most of the touch-ups done. Let's just see how it feels, guys. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Especially for this late in the day. Um, I'm very happy with that. I want to shave again tomorrow morning before work. So anywhere I really want to touch up. Uh, you know what? No. By the time that all dehydrate, this going to be perfect. So I'm just going to rinse off here. Some warm water, cool water. Give me one second. Always pat, always pat dry, guys, right? Don't scrub, don't rub. Your skin's just had a blade go over it, drag in on it. You don't want to cause 
irritation from the towel. So, get some water wet. There. <laughs> I think it's on the inside. It'll have to stay. <laughs> so, it's feeling good. So, once that dehydrates, that's going to be awesome. So, the post on my grandpa is really good. Uh, but, of course, we're keeping the orange going today. And we're going to use the new released male grooming or mal grooming tangerine uh, by Mr. Sean Mullen, the wizard behind this stuff. Again, skin feel, face feel, this is my top, um, my top splash, this manufacturer or artisan. I uh, just love it. Again, this is right in your face orange. Uh, this is stronger than the soap. And this is definitely a sweeter orange than the soap, like a tangerine is, with that tad of bitterness to it. That's what I'm getting anyways, and I love it. I really do. I was really on the fence about not getting this because getting the uh, towel butt soaps up here is a real pain in the butt. Um, you can only buy them out of the States. They don't have a distributor here in Canada that I'm aware of. And by the time I pay it, pay the shipping, the exchange rate, and that kind of stuff, you know. And then I buy this from a different vendor here in Canada because they won't ship it across the borders. And I pay that shipping. You know, a set's usually... Well, last one I did one with a better dollar was like 80 bucks. So it's probably 90, close to like 90 to 100 now. It's hard to justify. But great products anyways. Like Talbot is a good soap too, guys. So that was awesome. I really enjoyed that shave. Um, everything feels good. I am going to just uh, go clean up my products, my, my gear here. And I'll be right back for the final thoughts for you guys. All right, I'm back. Got the gear cleaned up and I'm back here for the... Uh, Final thoughts on my video for you guys. So looking at it, and you can see, I did actually get a weeper in there. Didn't realize it. This is just a pimple. That's been there for a few days. Popped it. Uh, this, believe it or not, I don't know where it came from. It wasn't there uh, when I went to bed last night. <laughs> and I woke up with it. I my wife scratching or I scratched myself. Or I, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's not from shaving. That one was from a straight razor yesterday, so that I didn't reopen. I reopened a little bit, I should say, but not bad. So overall, very good shave. Skin is feeling great. Um, I think the products did an excellent job. Uh, did what they were designed for, provided good, um, a good shave, right? That's what we all look for. So for the quick review, it was Light Grandpa Grooming Products Orange, uh, vegan base, based out of Edmonton, Alberta. Good product, easy to lather. Um, if you're looking for something to give you a quick, very quick lather, um, you don't have to spend a lot of time on it. I spent more than I needed. And has very good slickness, a great post feel. That's a good product for you. Um, and also if you want something that's very light scented, maybe because of your work or whatever you have to deal with. Again, I used a Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. I have some of the soap left in there. I'll probably use it tomorrow morning again. Brush was my newly acquired PAA Starcraft. Beautiful brush, great weight, great handle. Like I said, my only issue is, I don't even see it there, scratching it up a bit already on the bowl. You know, it seems to scratch pretty easily. I'm a little disappointed in that, but the performance of the brush, performance of the knot is stellar. I really, really, really am enjoying that. The Post product, newly released on April 13th from Mayo or Mallow Grooming, Mr. Sean Mullen there, the wizard behind this product. Um, Awesome, awesome, awesome aftershaves. You can never, never disagree with that. Great skin feel, great nourishment. Just an excellent product. Um, yeah, and that's pure tangerine sweet sweetness, orange sweetness with a little bit of bitterness to it to me. Uh, you just saw me use my car of Christopher Bradley, three and a half inch handle, C plate solid bar, brass version obviously. Uh, beautiful razor, does an excellent job. And in there was a Gillette winner on the third shave, which seemed to do just great. So that's it, everyone. That's my video today. I want to thank you all for watching, uh, for taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you are subscribers, thank you very much. Um, I, I, it, it means a lot. The channel's grown a lot lately. Uh, I, it's really good to see, and I hope everybody's enjoying the content I'm putting out. If you're not a subscriber and you'd like to be one, just subscribe below. And remember, hit that button so you get notification of my videos. I know we all say that, but we got to keep reminding you. In regards to content, 
Um, if you guys would like to make comments on this video about my shade, what you see, what you don't like, questions about the products, please leave them down below. Or if you like suggestions for content you'd like to see, man, I'm always open to it. Um, I, part of the fun of this for me is hearing from you guys, hearing what you like and uh, what you don't like, helping you out if I can, or even getting suggestions. I'm open to it all. So past that, everyone, I hope you've had a great weekend. Hope you have a great upcoming week. And stay safe, my brothers. Happy shaving, everyone.